Ben McKee, West Rucker, Go Vols 247 here in Columbia, South Carolina, where Tennessee just beat South Carolina by a ton of points, 85 uh, to 42. I don't know that this is 100% factual, but I believe it's the worst loss for South Carolina in Colonial Life Arena history, uh, at least one of the worst losses in a very, very long time. Yeah, I mean, Tennessee, I don't think Tennessee played perfectly, Ben, but Tennessee played very, very well in this game. South Carolina did not. I mean, Tennessee only went to the free throw line seven times. Tennessee out-rebounded South Carolina 48-21. I, I don't know if South Carolina just didn't play hard or if Tennessee was so much more talented than South Carolina that it didn't matter. Uh, but it's one of those two because uh, that, that was, that was one-way traffic from the beginning. And Tennessee, if it hadn't turned the ball over maybe a dozen times, uh, that could have been even worse. Yeah, watching that game, I thought it was just Tennessee's that good and South Carolina's in first season of a new head coach under Lamont Pair. So uh, I thought that was the case there. And the story for me, outside of what Tennessee was able to do defensively yet again, is what they were able to do offensively for a second straight game. And I mean, it started from the jump. Olivier Camois uh, hits a three, or excuse me, Julian Phillips hits a three, mm -hmm. and then Olivier hits one, and then Olivier goes on to shoot 10 for 10 from the field, which is tremendous, obviously, and had a, a career high 21 points, I believe, and, and a double-double his first of the season. And, and you know, this was a big game for Olivier Camois because this is the same court behind us here where he he suffered that season-ending ankle injury last season. And, you know, Olivier being Olivier, he tried to make a little light of it. You know, he tried to say, oh, I made a funny face when I got hurt last year. But he also said, with all seriousness, I don't ever want to play in this building again. Like, I wanted to come here today, play well one time, and then be done with this place. And, and you know what? He might he might do that. If he keeps playing like this, that whole conversation of, will Olivier come while be a super senior ne next season? He keeps playing like this, that conversation's not going to matter because someone's going to pay him at some level to play basketball. This is the player that he was on his way to becoming last season before that injury. And, and it's you don't want to make too much of it because it needs to happen for, for longer. But, man, he's been really, really good. Yeah, and aside from Olivier coming back, it was also the return of Josiah Jordan-James mm -hmm. and Julian Phillips to their home state. Uh, Josiah, a Charleston nati native, and uh, Julian played in Blythewood. I believe that's how you say that. Mm -hmm. um, and they both played well. And you, you see now two games in a row, Julian's get it, getting it going. Rick seemed very encouraged by what he's seen from him and, and thinks that he's about to take off. And then Josiah is just, uh, for him to miss as much time as he has had and, and deal with a funky injury, and for him to come back and shoot the way that he is, I mean, it, it, it speaks to the level of basketball player he is. And I think what also speaks to the, the level of basketball player that he is, look at Tennessee's offense the past couple games when he's come back. Uh, Tennessee has scored, I believe, 172 points the past two games despite shooting, attempting 10 free throws. Uh, Tennessee's offense, it, it, Josiah is not the one making the shots for everybody, um, but it's like a couple of the guys said after the game. Josiah Jordan-James knows where all five positions need to be on the floor at all times. The offense just runs smoother. When he and Vescovy are both out there together, everything runs the way that it should run. Doesn't mean you're going to have nights where you know, you're going to miss shots. You're, you're going to have those kind of nights, but everything runs smoother on both levels when, when he's out there. And he was diving around on the floor for loose balls today and got up. You know, his teammates were kind of doing a little sigh when he when he went down, but he got right back up and was laughing about it. And and Julian Phillips, uh, he, he's starting to play the way he needs to play. He needed to kind of get his legs back under him, get under control. And now we can see if he can blow up now that he's got that stability back. Yeah, and now the key after this hot start to SEC play is not getting complacent. And yeah. with Rick Barnes as the head coach, <laughs> I, I don't I don't feel like that's going to be an issue for this group. So Tennessee returns home, Vanderbilt on Tuesday night for a 9 p.m. tip. That'll be lovely. And then Kentucky comes to town. A not very good Kentucky team at the moment. So he's West Rucker. I'm Ben McKee. Go Balls 247 here in Columbia, South Carolina. We've got plenty of coverage up at the site and we will continue to have coverage up on the site over the next day or so.